We are going to solve a problem using the multiplication algorithm method. As an example, let's solve the problem 45 times 21. In the multiplication algorithm, we first have to stack the numbers on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and stack 45 on top, and we're going to put 21 on bottom. And put the time sign there. Now once we have these numbers in position, we always start with this bottom right number. So in this case we're starting with the 1. And then we're going to multiply that 1 times the number above it first. And then we multiply the 1 times the number to the left and above it. So first we're going to do 1 times 5, which is 5. and then we're going to do 1 times 4, which is 4. Now there's nothing left up here to multiply the 1 times, so now I'm going to have to work on this 2. Before I do that though, I drop down a line and I add a 0. Anytime you drop down that line, you have to add a 0, no matter what. Now what I'm going to do is multiply the 2 times the 5, and then the 2 times the 4. 2 times 5 is 10. Now I have to put my 0 down here and I carry my 1 up top. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So I put my 9 right here. And now that there's nothing left to multiply 2 times, we did 2 times 5, then we did 2 times 4, that means we're done. So to find my answer, I just add up these two numbers together. 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 0 is 4, and nothing plus 9 is 9. So my answer would be 945. Let's solve another problem, but this time we're going to make it longer. This time, let's solve a three-digit number times a two-digit number. Let's do 261 times 15. Now for the algorithm, we're still going to stack the two numbers on top of each other. We're going to stack 261 on top and 15 underneath. Put our time sign. Okay. In this case, we're going to multiply. We're going to start with the bottom right number, as always. And we're going to multiply it times the number above it the number to the left, and since there's a third number now, we're going to have to multiply it times that number also. So we're going to do 5 times 1, 5 times 6, and 5 times 2. Let's start with 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. I put my 0, and I carry my 3. So we still have 30, but I'm carrying the 3. 5 times 2 is 10. Then we add that 3. 10 plus 3 is 13. There's no numbers left for me to carry anything, so I'm just going to write 13 down here. Now, what do we do when we drop down a line? We add a 0. So we add our, start by adding our 0. I'm going to go ahead and X out that 3 because we've already, we've already used it, and I don't want to accidentally use it later. Okay, now we're going to take the 1, and we're going to multiply it times that then times that, then times that. Okay. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. Now my only step left is to add these two numbers together. 5 plus 0 is 5. 0 plus 1 is 1. 6 plus 3 is 9, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So my answer for this problem is 3,915.